let's learn how to draw outer space. All right, so you're in your editor, and you can tap on this gray plus button to open up your objects menu, and then let's drag out a text object. Now this is the naming window. Just press cancel here, we don't want to name it. And let's add a new rule. So the first thing we want to do is to have a black screen. So to do that, pick when the play button is tapped, which means when the project starts, and then we're going to go to the drawing tab, which is purple. Drag out a leave a trail block, and here you can pick your color, which should be black for an outer space. And then for the width, this is going to be 3000, which is bigger than the size of the screen. And this way, the giant dot we draw will be covering everything. And then we only need to move forward one. So in this bubble, just tap one. And press play, and we have a black screen. Beautiful. Okay, let's go back to edit. And now let's make a bunch of clones, which will draw our stars. So to make clones, go all the way down to control flow, which is the blue tab and pull out a repeat block. And here, pick the number of stars you want. I'm gonna pick 200. So for this bubble, this is the number of times we're gonna create clones. And then go to more in your control flow tab, and until you see the create clone block, drag that into this repeat loop. So now we are creating 200 clones. Okay, now exit out of this rule, which you can do by tapping outside of it, and then add a new rule. And here, Tap on more for the winds so that you can see character is cloned, which only exists if you've created clones with this object. So tap on character is cloned. Now we want each clone to draw a star, and we want the stars to be dispersed randomly across the screen. So to set something in a random part of the screen, we're going to go to movement, and we're going to find the set position block. So drag that out. For the x coordinate, pick random, which is right here, and make your range from zero, which is the left side of the screen, to 1024, which is the right side of the screen. And now tap on the Y bubble and pick random again. And pick from zero for the first bubble, tap on the second bubble, and pick 768. That's the top of the screen. So now each clone will be anywhere on the screen. And now let's have them draw a star. So go to drawing, which is the purple tab, drag out a leave a trail, and I'm going to pick white for my color. And then I want the width to be random as well because I want some of these stars to be bigger than others. So tap random and pick from 1 to 3. Press check. And then only move forward 1 because we're drawing dots, not lines. And let's see what happens. Cool. Okay, so now what if I want like a fourth of these stars to have color because maybe they're planets? We can go back. Well, then I can use a check if else statement. So go down to the bottom, control flow, and drag out check if else. And for the first part, pick equals, and then pick random again. And the idea is we're checking if a random number between one and four is four. And that only happens a fourth of the time. So pick random here. And for the first bubble, pick one. For the second, pick four. And then over here in the second bubble, pick four. So this is like rolling a four-sided die. And this will only happen one out of four times. So then press check. So if this ever happens, then we're going to have the color be random. So go to leave a trail, drag a leave a trail out into here in the first part of the check once if block, and pick random color and have the same other inputs. So for width, pick random from one to three, one for the first bubble, three for the second, and then for move forward, pick one. Press check, and then drag this other leave a trail with the white into the else. So what we just did here is that we're checking if a random number from one to four equals four, which will only happen one out of every four times. And if so, then it will draw a color, a colored star. The other three times out of four, it will draw a white star. So let's see what that looks like. Cool, so it's subtle, but some of these are colored, and it just gives a little nice detail to it. Okay, so this is outer space. Um, but one last thing we can do is add a big earth if you want. So go back to edit, and let's add a new object. So go to this plus button, drag out a text object, and then let's name it this time. Go to the emoji button. If you don't have emoji, make sure to enable them on your keyboard. And then right here in the nature tab, find earth. Press done. And then if you want it to be big, add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, go to looks and sounds, and I'm gonna make it very big, so 
I'm gonna go to set size and make it like 2000%. And I'm also gonna have it be on the bottom, which I can do with set position. So go to movement, pull out a set position block. I'm gonna make X 500, which is the middle of the screen. And then I'm gonna make Y negative 200. And let's see what happens. Cool. So as always, I can't wait to see what you make with this. You could take this in any direction. You can make a game. You can make a movie. If you watch that scenes levels video, then this could be one of your scenes or levels. Um, you can make movie trailers. Basically, I've opened up the final frontier for you, and I can't wait to see what you do with it. All right, see ya.